This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Puzzle 10. Print a single true-false value. We can do that. Sometimes we don't care about the count, and we just want to know if the array contains a 5 or not. Let's try to display a single true-false indicating whether a list the list contains a 5. There are two cases to consider. The list does not contain any 5s. You need to display false. Got it. List contains at least one. You're going to display true. One way to do this is to reference your counter variable, 5 count. If you don't know what they're talking about, you should go do the last part of this. If you don't know how to do it, you should watch my tutorial. <laughs> All right. Is to reference our counter variable, 5 count, after the array has been processed. And what they're saying there is after we count all the fives, after the whole array is processed, we could do it then. We've pulled your code from previous levels so that you continue to add to it. Add a council log statement to the display a single word, true or false, indicating whether there is a five anywhere in the array. So let's just double check. Oh yeah. So we got this still, but they just want it to be true or false. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to droop, droop. Okay, so we need to check if it is true or false. Hmm, we could run through the entire thing. Where do we look at? Oh, we're checking it here. Do we have a function? No, no, no. Okay, got it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to show text real quick. We have a bunch of extra space. All right, so what I think is best for this is to use a, well, we want to use an if, and I, I know it's going to be an if else, because we want to check if something's happening, and if not, we want to do something else. So right now we have our council log that counts the amount of times. We don't need that. I'm going to put that in here, because we're going to have it say, instead of this, it will either just say true or false. Okay, so this is going to be uh, true, and how, what are we going to look at? Well, we have this variable five count, and we're keeping track, right? We're iterating through, we're adding one to five count each time in our for loop, right? Right here, we add one to five count if the test array at index i, so at zero, at one, at two, Whatever index we're checking during the loop is equal to 5. We add 1 to 5 count. So if 5 count, our variable, is greater than 0, well, then our statement's true, right? So if it's greater than 0, then we know to say true. If it's not greater than 0, meaning it's 0 or negative, but it can't be negative this time, then we're going to want to say, well, it asks us to say false. So I need to go grab a council log, and we would just say false. Okay? And I think, yeah, let's test it out. Reset and run. True. Is that true? Oh, yep, there's a five. And so this is checking the five count variable and saying if it's true. And the second it's true, it's going to run through all this code in order, right? Remember that. And so we check the entire array. It is a problem if I were to put this uh, before the end of this code, right? So if we checked all but the last array or all but the last index, then this would have a bug in it. Because what if 5 was at the very last index? True. Where's the 5? Oh, yeah, two of them. True again. Yep. Yep. I want to see it false. Oh, is there no five? Yeah, awesome. Cool. So using this this uh, variable right here, five count, that we add to as we go through our array, and then checking it later on is handy. And it's, it's a versatile thing to do. We're going to use it in a lot of ways as we progress. So yeah, awesome. Let's keep going.